person, woman, man, camera, TV. Low IQ Joe Biden's insane electric vehicle mandate will totally obliterate the U.S. auto industry, and it won't take long. Just so you know, you know, we have the greatest army tanks. I saved it. In Ohio, a plant. When I was president-elect, they said, sir, they want to close our army tank plant. Makes the best tanks in the world. I visited in Lima, Lima, Ohio. And I, I saved it. I said, how can you do this? I looked at complexity. You'd never be able to build a plant like this. Turned out we made more army tanks than anybody. They did a great job. But they want to make them now electric so that when you go into enemy territory and you obliterate the enemy and you knock down and those tanks are firing, you do it in a environmentally friendly way. <laughs> the problem with the army tanks, like cars and like trucks, the problem is that you would have to bring a battery pack along. You're going to pull it like a little wagon, like a child pulls a wagon. So they want to build a army tank, but you know, the battery is very big and very heavy, much heavier than a thing called diesel, much heavier than diesel fuel. And you got to see this tank. It's like a wagon and there's a big thing that is pulling in the back. And even with that, it doesn't go far and lots of bad things happen, like it doesn't take cold weather very well, and it's really bad in heat. But it is environmentally friendly, remember that. Of course, making it is an environmental disaster, so that more than makes up for it. And they want to have your jet fighters now. I got more planes. I rebuilt our entire military. They want to make your jet fighters use a fuel that's environmentally friendly, but it makes the plane 18% less efficient. So that's the difference between in a fight with the enemy, winning and losing, a minor difference. But you go in again, they want to go in in a clean, environmental way as we bomb the shit out of a country. Can you believe this? <laughs>